247 Tech here and welcome to the new Nokia Lumia 650 here for review from Cricut. I know I've been kind of late on this one because I'm getting for VidCon and all the things that are coming up this coming month. Uh, well yeah, we're in June already now. So yeah, this coming up month. So I've just been trying to get uh, ready for that. Right now I have the 650. We also have the LG Stylo 2 and Max 2 which are also going to be in other videos. So be sure to check those out too. But for this video, let's go ahead and do Nokia Lumia 650 uh, unboxing. So if you turn it around on the back, it says it has a 5-inch display, quad-core, 8-megapixel rear, cam rear camera, 5-megapixel front, and it has the Cortana Assistant, something like Siri. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it back around. Now, this phone is the uh, does have uh, Windows 10 on it, so that's like one of the biggest features on it. But let's go ahead and take it out. I'm going to go ahead and put this to the side right quick. Don't need the SIM card. Underneath here, you have your terms and conditions and probably something with Nokia Lumia like product safety information. And you got a regular old charger with a battery right over here. So I'm going to go ahead and install the battery into the phone and I'll go ahead and meet y'all. So I went ahead and popped the battery into the phone and let's go ahead and turn it on. So the power button is on the right hand side over here. You feel a little vibrate and on the screen you see Microsoft. So you have the volume up, volume down button right here. And overall, this is a pretty sleek phone, pretty thin phone, and I like the way this phone is. On the back, you have the back camera, the flash, and you have Cricut and the Windows symbol right there. Uh, oops, almost dropped it. Uh, on the bottom over here, you have the charging port where you can plug your charger into, and you have the Nokia, uh, the Microsoft starting sign. Again, uh, I actually keep saying Nokia, but this is actually Microsoft now. Nokia actually has nothing to do with Microsoft now. And I believe Nokia is going to start doing their own Android phones. But yeah, now this is the Microsoft Lumia. This is no longer a Nokia. So my mistake that I've been saying Nokia, but this is now a Microsoft phone. It's no longer Nokia. So uh, definitely this is a very sleek phone and I definitely like this one. Something like the Nokia, Nokia Lumia 640 it had a blue back and all that kind of stuff. This is pretty plain, simple, and it's very thin compared to the Nokia Lumia, so I really like that feature about this phone. And it seems like a good phone to hold. It has a 5-inch display, has a 16 gigabyte internal storage. It has 200 gigabytes of, you can put a 200 gigabyte memory card into it. Uh, it has all the good 4G LTE. It has an 8 megapixel uh, with flash at the back, and it has a 5 megapixel front, as I, as I said before. It runs on a 1.3 gigahertz quad-core processor. So it's an okay processor, not one of the best, but it, it runs on a quad-core processor. Now, one thing that did surprise me on this phone is the battery. The battery on this phone is a 2000 mAh battery. Most of the phones nowadays, and the way the battery looks at the back, it should at least be a 3500 or 3000 mAh battery, but this phone has a 2000 mAh battery, so that kind of surprised me. I thought it would have been a little bit better. You have the Cricut starting screen. And also this phone does run on Windows 10, which is the newer version of Windows, which some people actually like better than the old Windows. I haven't used this, so this is going to be my first time. So let's go ahead and close all of this stuff, except all of it. And we're going to go ahead and skip everything. And we're going to go ahead and sign in later. Next. And it's going to go ahead and install all the apps and all that kind of stuff. So it's going to take some time. So yeah, overall, pretty good specs, pretty nice specs. Only the battery that kind of like, you know, threw me off a little bit. But Windows 10 and all that kind of good stuff with the 5-inch uh, screen. Pretty decent phone for a pretty decent price too. The price on this phone is 119 so not bad. Uh, so it seems promising that no Microsoft is going to bring a comeback with all this new phone. But... Uh, Let's see how it goes. So I'll go ahead and get back to y'all as soon as the phone is done downloading because this process could take up to about five. Alright guys, so the phone just got through uh, installing all the apps and stuff. It took about five minutes. So let's go ahead and hit the next button. And done. So not much has changed from the old setup. It's going ahead and going to go ahead and load. And bang, there we have it. This is Windows 10. So... I heard a lot of good things about Windows 10 that it runs way smoother, runs way better, and has better, uh, I mean, it seems like it's running way better, and it has a better feel to it, but I, I still haven't used Windows, and I'm not a big fan of it. Uh, this is your main menu, though. You have the calling app, the Skype app, the Facebook app, you have the Outlook calendar, 
people, people, and these are all tactiles that do live updates. If uh, if you're not a Windows fan and don't know that, but this all has live updates on it. So if you connect your Facebook, it'll have like a whole tile. And we have a Windows 10 message that interrupted me. But we also have Deezer, we have My Cricket, we have the Xbox Xbox app where you can go ahead and connect up your Xbox to your phone. So that's pretty cool. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the phone on this. So we go to the dial pad and it seems like it's pretty good. Pretty good dial pad. Oh, you can just go ahead and left and right instead of top tapping it. So I mean, for some reason it keeps changing while I try to type. So I'm not sure about that. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the text messaging on this phone. This phone does have a pretty decent size screen, so that's not bad. And uh, this is Skype messaging, okay. Nope, don't want to do that right now. I just want to test out the keyboard. Let's go ahead and create a new one. So let's put what's up. So it is a pretty good screen. It has a pretty good uh, feel to it, pretty sensitive. So that's pretty good. Uh, not sure what this blue dot does. I mean, it goes left and right. I have to kind of like, you know, play around with it to see what it does. Not sure what it really does. Uh, for all the people that love emojis, they do have emojis in this phone right over here. You have all the emojis. Not as much as iPhone, but they do have some. Well, I'm, well, yeah, it's kind of different from iPhones. But yeah, they do have emojis for all my people that love emojis. Uh, you also have the diction feature where you can easily uh, talk to the phone and it'll go ahead and type out everything. And you have the little paper clip paper clip so you can go ahead and add, add like photos and stuff and attachments to your messages so that's pretty cool uh, you have the internet you have the Deezer as I mentioned now this is your second uh, menu which you can easily scroll down with uh, you have the people you have the photos let's go ahead and check out the uh, camera on this phone so go into the seas I'm not sure where my Canon cap is at here it is we need your permission, go ahead. And it's not a bad camera, it's a pretty good camera. I mean, I'm kind of shocked that an eight megapixel camera is this good, so it's a pretty nice back camera. So I definitely give it a pass on the camera. Front-facing camera gets a pass too. It has a pretty nice front-facing camera too. So that's not bad either. But overall on the camera and the screen sensitivity, I give that a pass, that's pretty good. Uh, Overall, I still wouldn't use a Microsoft phone. I keep saying Nokia, I know that, but I just realized. <laughs> but I still I still wouldn't use a Microsoft phone just because of the fact that it's Microsoft and I'm not really used to Microsoft. I'm Most of the people are nowadays used to Android or iOS with Apple. And I'm used to iOS. I, I'm not a big fan of Android either, but I'll still use it. But this one, I feel that it's just too complicated to get around, and I just don't like the setup of it. That's my personal opinion. Uh, definitely, y'all would have y'all's opinion, but that would be my opinion. Uh, this does have something called Groove Music Maps also. Groove Music is probably something that Microsoft introduced it, introduced as some type of music. But overall, the things that I like about this phone is that it has a pretty nice screen. It has a pretty nice... Uh, uh, body and it has like you know it's a sleek body and it's a nice finishing with the chrome on the edges so definitely like that about this phone and I definitely think this phone is pretty nice it's just that if you're a big Microsoft fan you should shoot for it if you don't know much about Microsoft then of course don't get it because these things are sometimes complicated to work with even me working with this phone is complicated for me so I mean it's your decision at the end of the day to go with it but that would be my opinion on the phone but uh Overall, pretty good camera, pretty good uh, screen sensitivity. Uh, but other than that, guys, that's it for this one. Go ahead and leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Hit that subscribe button. VidCon is right around the corner, so definitely I'll be updating y'all from there. Uh, but other than that, guys, that's it for this one. Go ahead and check out the other videos on my channel. Thank you for watching. Take care. See y'all next.